All right, guys, had a haircut, <sighs> showered again <laughs> because of the haircut. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I know it was a short one. We were just super busy, but we were happy to take you along for our various activities today. Mm -hmm. Now, Mabuhai Squad, RJ and I are getting ready because we are heading to a special place, but more importantly, to celebrate a very special day with some very special people. Mm -hmm. Mabuhai Squad, right now, RJ and I are heading to... Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Ed Mark's birthday! Happy birthday! Yes! Ed Mark turns 35. 25? Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, here, of course, is Nika. Myra and Rainier are here. Hi. RJ. <laughs> Raquel is coming. Raquel is coming later. And guys, food here, amazing. We're here in Solero, a place called Fresh. Let's go eat. Oh, and you guys, I am starving. I can't wait to see this luxury buffet. Mmm. We got desserts. Oh, ho, ho. whoa, candies with dim sum. Mmm, Chinese station. Whoa, guys, there is just so many choices. Oh, sisig. Mmm, chunky sisig. Tahong. Oh, my. Mmm. So, this here is Filipino station. Oh, this is what everyone's lining up for. This is what it's famous for the lobster. Mmm. Let's go. OMG, this looks so good. Thank you. Guys, look at that. Mm. So we're social distanced here. But guys, look at all the food. I think we splurged in our first round. So it's weird. You have to like literally go plate by plate. So like you grab two things, go to your table, dump it off. You can eat it or you could do what RJ and I did and we hoarded and then we just eat everything now. Oh my gosh. My boy has gone. Let's do this. OMG, OMG. This place looks awesome. So fancy. Guys, let's try the beef brisket. Open, open. Guys, let's try the lobster. It's an interesting looking lobster, right? RJ, we got a lot of stuff. It's buffet, right? Might as well eat, eat, eat. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. I don't even know how to eat this. Oh my mm. Oh, it's splashed. Open, open. Let's try it. Oh my gosh. Mm, mm, mm. The orange stuff is the best. Oh my gosh. Mm. Guys, this orange stuff on the lobster is the best. Okay, seriously, there's so much here. Beef in the key. Oh my gosh. Mm. Guys, this is five Mabuhai stars. This is your five Mabuhai stars. Raquel is here. Hi, Rax. <laughs> oh, guys, look at this. Mm, beef bone soup. It's called bulalo. Yummy. I'm gonna eat the veggies here. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Hmm? Today, we're going to the farm. Yay, we're going to the farm. Oh, you just hit yourself on the camera, Sarah. We're going to the farm. We're going to the farm, the farm, the farm. We're going to the farm, farm, going to the farm, farm. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> the, the dogs are like, these past few days have been non-stop travel. But they're not complaining. <laughs> Right, Saiz? We love taking you guys out. I love when the dogs are like stimulated, learning new things, excited about life. Every time I see them so excited, I'm like reminded, ah, oh, remember, remember guys when we were kids and everything was just new and exciting? And 
I realized nothing has changed. Like, even though we're adults now and a lot more experienced, it's still the same. Life is still as interesting and diverse and unexplored as before. It's just we're exploring different things now, right? Like, for example, RJ and I are building a home. Like, we're gonna be moving to our first home. Yay! We're gonna be moving to a farm. So like, it's it, it's a different kind of play and explore when you're an adult, um, but it's still exciting nonetheless, right? Sives? And this is the stuff I think about every time I see my dogs. So excited about the most random things. Like, Cypher right now is eager to take in all this traffic from the outside. What are you excited about? And it feels like your inner child is adventuring and exploring and enjoying something new. What is it? Let me know in the comments. Let that inner child loose, Mabuhai Squad. Adventure to new territories. I love that. I love that childlike curiosity and energy. All right, guys, let's see our positive affirmation for Tuesday, July the 27th. I am at peace with my sexuality. I embrace myself with love and compassion. Ooh, love that, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation. How appropriate, RJ. We are at peace with our sexuality. Guys, it took us so long. Uh, coming out, for those of you who are new, by the way, RJ and I, like, we came out in our... Well, I came out in my late 30s, him in his mid 30s. Crazy! RJ, do you wish you came out sooner? Not sure. Me too, I'm not sure because I felt like before, things were different. They're not as open as they are now. Like, now I find is an awesome time to come out um, because, I don't know, the world is just more open now somehow, strangely. As opposed to when I first arrived here 10 years ago. Um, not so open. Also, some great news um, about the Philippines. An Olympian during these current Olympics in Japan named Heidelin Diaz. Um, she's like a, a weightlifter. Guys, she lifted so much weight and she earned the Philippines our very first Olympic gold medal. Wow, like in all of history, in all of Olympic history, never had gold. the Philippines has never had gold until today. Wow. Congrats, Heidelin. Congrats, Heidelin. All Filipinos right now are celebrating. Yeah, yeah. for yeah, bringing wait. us the gold. Yay! That is great. Can you imagine? Um, last year, she brought home silver. In uh, the last in the Olympics. Last Olympic, I mean. Wow, that is amazing. Honestly, seriously. And for those of you who are like, what, you're first? Like, that's no big deal. My country has had like 52 gold medals in all of history. No, um, it's our first. And we're kind of underdogs, guys, because you got to remember, like, we're a developing country, third world country, whatever you want to call it, with limited resources and limited support from the government on these kinds of things. So, like, the fact that she was able to bring gold in is wow it's just that much more mind-blowing and all of the philippines right now is celebrating her win and it's just really really great we're so so proud of her you guys must check out the youtube video of when she won she's she like cried and her whole family cried and like oh it's just so unbelievable we're all just so happy about it as another example um some of you guys all of you old school mabu high squad might remember when we featured the uh ice skating olympian michael martinez remember when we went to la um and hung out with him at disneyland michael martinez is a figure skater but he told us that he has to practice at the skating rink at the mall like the mall near us. Like that's just an example of the kinds of like resources that our Olympians have. Can you imagine being an Olympian and having to like train in a mall ice skating rink? But hopefully things change. Like, you know, now that we're bringing in gold, hopefully the, the government will, you know, show more support for our Olympians and give them better tools, resources, facilities to bring more gold in and, you know, look for more talent because this country of over a hundred million people is uh, super talented. It's just we ha we're the underdogs because of our lack of resources. Hi there, Sarah. 
Oh Good. my, I just learned that guys, the government is offering money for anyone who wins a medal. So she's gonna be loaded. Good, Good for her. Children receiving at least 33 million pesos. 33 million pesos? At wow. Least. I would say that's around, what, 800? No thousand dollars good for her oh my gosh and her family and her entire team so cool i can see it in your eyes that there is something there capable of mesmerizing every person here i know how the unexpected ones got something wrong within for the unsuspecting crowd whose eyes you're gonna win Over. It starts with just your love With just your heart I'll admire your dance and watch you show them what you got oh. Alright guys, we are here at the Mabuhai Squad Farm <laughs> The dogs already know that we're here Like they're so eager to jump out that door <laughs> Like, as we were pulling in, they jumped out and like begged to be picked up because they know we're heading out. And Mabuhai Squad, I can't wait to see what our updates are. It's gonna be fun. Okay. 